fighter. It'll be an interesting matchup for sure. And for those of you who don't know, these guys have fought four times before in various competitions. Agazam coming out on top in all of those encounters, but always by points. Never able to get that submission. That's it. And most of those points coming by takedowns. AJ got a strong collegiate wrestling background, but as we say, those points are not going to count today. Oli Geddes, mostly well known for his half guard game. He's going to go searching for that here, I, I feel. He's looking for the Shin to Shin guard. That's his current favorite position from the bottom. So he's going to try to bind on one of AJ's legs. I like the way AJ's bugging Ollie's head there. I like to see that kind of stuff, and it will distract the opponent and maybe even frustrate them. Those, those in the UK know that Oli is one of the most technical black belts in the world. He's literally broken down jiu-jitsu into its smallest parts. He's a very, very sophisticated jiu-jitsu fighter. Whereas oh, and immediately looking for the Kimura is Aga's arm. Rolling with it. Nice escape by Oli. Has to shake his arm out now. Just Anxious moments here. He's going to have to defend this armbar. Aga's arm, much more physically imposing fighter than Oli. He's always going to make it difficult for Oli. Very aggressive early on here. Be interesting to see if, uh, knowing he has four prior wins on points, he really wanted to go for the submission. But Getty's going to have to hold on and get on his bike quickly if his grip breaks here. He's got both legs on, on the opposite side of the head, so it's not the strongest unlock position. There is still a chance Oli can escape, although it is still very threatening. Well, his head is free. That's what it's allowing him to escape at the moment. Let's see if he rolls him over again. Looking to go belly down and... Excellent, excellent technical escape by Oli. Fantastic jujitsu. And straight after Agazama again. <laughs> oh, and off the takedown immediately. He gives Oli the shin to shin guard or the, the setup for the deep half. Yeah, deep half now for Geddes. The crowd not too appreciative of, of the tactics of Agazama. Be interesting to see what he makes of that in the post fight interview. Yeah, I think AJ playing up to the bad guy role there, grinning at the crowd, knowing what he's done. But straight away, going after the arm again of Oli. Again, with that Kimura trap, such a strong grip. If you can lock it up. They say with a good Kimura grip, you can rule the world. Very difficult when a guy knows what he's doing, puts it on you. Difficult to escape, difficult to even move. See if he looks to roll Oli again here. Opportunity to take his back as well. And AJ's also trying to look on a, a triangle. A lot of options for him. Oli really up against it early fighting just to survive here only three minutes gone so far in this bout Agazam with the triangle here he's got it fully locked slightly odd angle but it's a tight looking triangle well he is the 2014 world no gi champion only defending well AJ really putting a squeeze on, committing to this triangle, trying to get the finish. Oh, Let's see if he manages to get it. If he doesn't, it, he's going to burn his legs out. Well, looking to isolate the other arm. Geddes using his left arm under his own leg to try and create some space from his shoulder to his neck. And some more gamesmanship from AJ here, just slowly taking his mouthpiece out, examining it and putting it back in. Feeling very confident as we enter the fourth minute of this bout. Yeah, just goes to show how relaxed he's feeling right now, completely in control. Oli did a phenomenal to defend that attack. Triangle looked sunk pretty deep, but he maintained his composure. Let's see if he can get himself out of this bind he's in now. You can never underestimate a fighter like Geddes. He's such an unorthodox game. He can tap you from the bottom of side mount using his patented squirrel lock. We've also, of course, seen that very strange, almost inverted knee bar, the dog bar that he looks for. But it may be something tricky that he will need in this one because AJ Anger's arm is really having his way in the opening stanza here. Ollie's out of immediate danger because he has both of his arms underneath Agazam's leg. Let's see if he can capitalize on this little exchange. Now this is Ollie's strong point, but back to the seat of guard. And our referee, Nick Brooks, is going to reset us in the middle of the map. The longer the fight goes on, the better for Ali. As AJ is a power and explosion based fighter, which means he will tire more than Ali. Ali's game is built purely of technique. 
that's not a very attribute-based fighter. Well, and he's let get his established half guard. He's looking for that knee bar here. You can see him just trying to extend the hips. If he can clasp his hands together, it gives him a little bit more leverage. This is one of Ali's, as you said, most powerful techniques, the dog bar. It really is a very tricky leg lock. I know Dean Lister has something very similar in his arsenal he likes. Agazam starting to breathe a little bit harder. Speaking to Oli at the weigh-ins yesterday, he feels his best chance of victory is choke. He just cannot see AJ tap into anything else, but here he's going for that straight ankle lock. One of Oli's favorite submissions. Well, rolling for position. Agazam, Agazam looking for the toe hold, and if he connects his hands, well, good scramble again from Geddes. Very exciting fight. You can hear the crowd responding to that action. Best fight of the night so far. AJ's got such a swagger about him, guys, don't you think? Yeah, very confident. Very assured in what he wants to do. Six minutes gone now. Oli Geddes in the black, taking on AJ Agazam in the red. It's literally like breathing for Oli to be in this position. He spent probably 80% of his jiu-jitsu career here. Again, looking for this half guard position. If you can See clasp can his hands together, AJ using good head control. Oli wants to put his head in that pocket up against his hip. Good head control again from Agazam. AJ just popping the knee up. Looking to ride it on the chest here. Here's Ollie with the underhook looking. He will probably try to transition to the shin to shin guard or re attack with the dog bar again. Good manipulation of the head by AJ, and I'm sure that's left over from his wrestling days. Break the guy's posture down and you really take away a lot of his power. AJ hunting for that hammer lock again. Oh, and Geddes. Well, coming for the top position after Azagam sat to his hip. Approaching the halfway mark in this match. Sorry. Taking his gum shield out and putting it behind his ear. Well, that is certainly some gamesmanship. I'm quite surprised the referee hasn't really called him for it yet. <laughs> well, we're seeing what the uh, defensive guard of Agazam is like for the first time here in this match. Yeah, much more top fighter than a bottom fighter. It's going to be interesting to see what he can do from the bottom. Well, again, perhaps looking for that Kimura. See him posting on that left wrist, trying to... Get the right over the top. Ali keeping his elbow tight to prevent that. Really trying to, Agazem really trying to peel it out now. As you said, expect him to really use the raw power if he gets that grip to try and roll the position. But back to the feet. Very interesting to see them both out of their respective depths. Ali's much more of a bottom fighter, AJ more of a top fighter, and the roles are reversed. Ali's staying low, which is interesting as Agazem is the <laughs> wrestler. Agazem giving him the single leg. Just complete contempt for the takedown wow. ability of Oli Geddes. Can't and pass there in straight into half guard. Yeah, Crowd looking pleaser. in a very tight top position here. Yeah, good shoulder pressure there. That's the worst thing to have happen when you're on the bottom fighting in half guard is for a guy to get his arm under your head and establish what we call the shoulder of justice. Very difficult to move from there. Again, Oli is super comfortable here. He's going to have to protect his neck. AJ threatening the choke. And looking to pull that ankle through. Now going back and gripping his hands. And he's got a sweet positions from here. Keeps attacking with that same technique. Head control is presenting a problem from that borderline illegal move. Hand on the face. <laughs> well, I don't think there'll be any love lost between these two after this one. Interesting roll from Agazam here. I can't quite see the grip he's got. Going after that arm again. Lock.
AJ's got a successful amateur MMA record and aspirations one day to make it all the way to the UFC. He said that was his original motivation for starting BJJ. Well, deep half guard for Geddes now looking to get his legs into action, but it's into the Kimura grip and again looking for the armbar perhaps is AJ Azagam. Well, he's locked up holding his own bicep to defend. This is the classic defense. Agazant had one bite of the cherry already, sneaking through perhaps for the triangle again. Trying to be as diverse as possible in his attacks. Last four minutes here. I think it's probably fair to say AJ Agazam having the better of this match overall at the moment. But of course, it doesn't really count for anything if the submission doesn't come. And Def he's in prime position here. Definitely the more athletic of the two athletes. And we all know it plays such a huge role in, in combat sports. But Oli using his incredible depth of technical knowledge to <coughs> help get him out of some tight spots and attack with submissions of his own. Fantastic match so far. AJ taking a few deep breaths in. I've got a feeling he's going to try and just explode and power that arm out to finish it. <laughs> Trying some cheeky manipulation techniques here. Distraction. Again, Geddes going to the leg to try and help support his grip. And oh, and he taps with the feet. I think that was a bicep.